I promise. Hey, hey. what's up, everybody? Oh, hey. hey. How's it going? <laughs> I'm Quit talking to my little dog. Boy. <laughs> yeah, you're always playing with your little buddy. I was just telling you. <laughs> How you guys doing, man? You're doing good. How are you? We're alive. How you doing? Good, man. Yeah, how was Louisiana? Hot. It was great until the last day, and then what were the day we were leaving, I woke up at like 4 30 and I had this pinched nerve in my back. <laughs> and uh had to drive 15 hours home on that. So Oh, Max says hello, by the way, yeah. like, like normal. Oh, we picked up a new friend. So your friend can have a friend, too. This is but Emmett. My friend said he's not a doll. That's this is Emmett. Emmett. Nice. Funny story about Emmett. I met Emmett's son. But I have an autographed picture from him. Emmett Smith? So for, no, for our viewers Emmett. here... For our viewers here that are sitting there going, why do they have clown dolls laying around? Because we're cool like that. It's because tonight we're going to be joined live by Mr. Jeremy Ork, who happens to be somewhere clown related. So let's bring Jeremy on. Jeremy, pay attention. Yeah. There's the man himself. Oh, hello. Hello. Man. So, uh, man. I was man. hoping you were going to give me a couple of more minutes. I'm sharing this thing out. <laughs> Yeah, that's what Crystal's doing. Yeah, too, so I, I made it to the Grand Motel. You're getting around I'm everywhere, here. Jeremy. I'm at the Clown Motel. I literally just got here like 35 minutes ago. So the where is the Clown Motel? If if we were going to look for the What's Clown that? Motel, where where would we where would we go to look for it? So there's two ways. Ways of getting here, um, you can either go north on on um, 95 out of Vegas or south on 95 out of uh, Carson City. Um, it's in a town called Tonopah or Tonopah, however it's pronounced. I think it's Tonopah, and it is literally right at about the halfway point between Vegas and Reno. Um, I have passed this place, I don't know, three, three four times. A couple times I stopped. Oops. Here we go. A couple times I've stopped and take pictures outside, um, but this is the first time that I actually made it a point to stay here. And um, I didn't I didn't realize that all the rooms were specifically themed. Like there's one that's um, Friday the 13th, one that's Exorcist, and um, I forget some of the others. But the room that I got is Halloween, Michael Myers. How fitting. And, right. Exactly. And right next right next to the bed where I'm going to be sleeping is Michael Myers and Jamie Lee Curtis. How cool is nice. That? That's pretty cool, man. And then but but he, he, here's my favorite part. Um let me Yep, time for a room tour. You're muted. There you, know, you go. So I, I'm oh. gonna say it, and you guys, you guys can kill me later. Jeremy, you should have got the scream room, so that way you could sleep next to Ghostface and Sydney. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, she's pretty hot, is that? Um. So here, here's, here's, sorry, here's, here's, here's sorry. Another one right here. Who is that? Um, but 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 here is my favorite. Here is my favorite. This guy right here. Yes. Killer clown. So exactly that is that is killer clowns from out of space, and that particular clown is Clownzilla who shows up right at the end of the movie and he's like 20 feet tall. Jeremy, are you ready to hate me? That's awesome. I see how <laughs> he's, 
I've never seen killer clowns. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Howard so didn't hear it. Before we get any further, um, um, one announcement. Okay. I, from all of us and to you, Crystal, as well, we want to wish all the moms out there a happy Mother's Day Sunday. Yes. Absolutely. Well, thank Sunday's you. Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day. Thank you, but I'm not a mom. Happy, happy Mother's Day. <laughs> My name is actually Mary, and I'm not a mom. Yeah, right. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, I am continuing on sharing this thing out since I was um, brought on here a little bit earlier than I expected. Um, we can yeah, kick so you back off. That's me and my dude's just going to chill out. Well, no. No. So, um, now I know you guys I said, you you guys said right. hi, Mary. But I do have a rather loud air conditioning unit. Going I can't on. Hear it. I'm, um, you. I'm I'm surprised you guys cannot hear it. I figured it'd be coming in really loud. I'm gonna go get Pat's picture while no, he's sharing no. and talk about Emmett and Pat. So you can see I um Yeah, we we held up the deal tonight. I'm sorry, we had Chinese. Yeah, Plus, Mason had Chinese yesterday and he got to stay home from school today. And I'm gonna say it. Because here at the 13th Dimension, we bow to no corporate sponsors. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have anything else to eat? You want my fries? Yeah, my fries. Okay, so and I'm going to have my, my cup right here. We finally got our cups. We don't have the printing on them yet. Wow. Whew, that was all right, Jeremy. <laughs> you might become part of the clown motel. <laughs> Whew, I just might. <laughs> then you guys can come and investigate me, and I'm just going to confuse the hell out of all of you. Uh, you know, you know what I wanted to do for tonight too, and I totally spaced it. I wanted to go over to Tim's and then and get my Tabasco, and I wanted to try it live tonight on the, on the show. So for those of you who don't know, I like spicy stuff. Uh, that's a scorpion pepper Tabasco sauce. Straight from Louisiana. Ooh. Scott, I figured this would be no big deal. You figure you'd drink this straight. <laughs> it's only no. two million on the Scoville. It's two million? Only. Yeah. yeah, boy. How did we come up with the name 13th Dimension? Well, Linda, we actually, uh, yeah. I did. <laughs> yeah. Um, so. So the name 13th Dimension, I, I was thinking uh, along the lines of Twilight Zone, how I was always saying it, it's either there is a fifth dimension or a sixth dimension. I, I forget which one it is. So I got to thinking, well, what if there was a, a 13th dimension? And so I just kind of threw that name into the list of names that Scott and I had come up with. And because I was really kind of hoping for that name, but I just – threw it in casually with the list of names that we had, and that was the one that stuck out to Scott. So, yeah, I, so I, that's I, we, that's that was the first one I picked out a list, dude. Yeah, it yeah. just stuck out, man. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. So it's Jeremy's brainchild. <laughs> the show is your brainchild. We had like well, five or six slogans, too, and we let our – we let our fans vote on the slogan before we ever came out. And we kind of yeah. just meshed them and up. Yeah. 
Yeah, and who came up with the slogan, or at least half of it? I was going to say, I think we all had a part in that. Yep. Yeah. Who? Who you probably you came up with the most? You came up with the majority of the slogans. So no, we did mm -hmm. as a team. There's no I in team, but there is me. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna too much fun with this doll. Does your doll have a name? <laughs> no. Do you guys want to name it for me? I mean, he, there is on the internet, but I can't remember what it is. He kind of looks, looks like, like Freddy the Freeloader. No, his makeup's different. He's a Willy. A his Willy? name is Willy. Hold on a minute. I was just thinking Ponchi. Ponchi the Clown. Nope. Ponchi. He's Pat Kelly's really, son. Willy. That's Willy. So your doll, your doll, is the grandson? No, son. Son of this doll. I think he's a Willie doll. Let me look. Dude, that is crazy. I know way too much about clown crap that I shouldn't know. Yeah, Jeremy, you're gonna have to ask him there if they've ever heard of Emmett Kelly, the clown. Oh, I'm pretty sure they have. I can do that, Dawn. Um, Maybe. Okay. Well, I thought I was done sharing this out, but apparently I wasn't. Max? Well, here, while he's sharing out, oh you can God. show that, Look, too. I'm trying to find his name. With, 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 <laughs> with the glasses that won't stay on, he looks like Happy the Hobo. Oh, my Lord. He does look like Happy the Hobo. Doesn't he? You know, my senior year in high school, I got to be on Happy's Place. Weary Willie. Uh, I got to meet him when I was. What is it? Weary Willie. Weary Willie. Yep, I bet that's who he is. Wow. Uh, you know, and that's kind of odd because my last name is Wilson, and my buddies used to nickname me Willie. Yeah. So. Weary Willie Wilson. There you go. That's a new name, dude. Yep. <laughs> Where is he? Because okay, he I'm done sharing this out. I reached the bottom of my list. <clears throat> well, can I can I give a little research about my buddy here, Emmett? What I know about Emmett? Absolutely. Okay, so since we're doing clowns. Mm -hmm. Adrian Hart brought this to me at Waverly Hills when we were there last week. You can't think her enough. Yes, I cannot think her enough. It's creeping my kids out, and I love it. Um, so this is Emmett. He's the main clown. For those who don't know that this um, clown's faces are patented. Their makeup is patented. That's how I knew that that was probably a willy doll. Because it looks almost like Emmett, but it's a little bit different. So it's probably Emmett oh. Jr.'s face paint when he was Weary Willy. Now, in Peru, which is close to where we live in Indiana, there is a Wingling Brothers Circus in the Circus Hall of Fame. And I met Emmett's son, other son, Pat. That is awesome. In 98. And this is an actual autograph picture from Pat, and he told that me the story awesome. of his dad. I've actually got to meet the clown himself. So that is so awesome, dude. So if you believe in fate, that's I'd say he's a fate. <clears throat> Dawn, Dawn said she has hugged him. Yep, he's a nice guy. He likes Howard. If you're still here, he likes beignets. Gives him my beignet bag the whole way home. Down in it. Up. Yeah. He needs a little help right now, but my kids have turned him because he sits on my desk, on my office desk. Oh, that's what he's supposed to look. Yeah. And stares into my living room. And my I came out the other day and he was like this because my kids were afraid he was gonna eat them. Now, he's a sound you know guy. He's like a trap. Right? 
Now, what? You, now you you need to hide him in each of the rooms every once in a while just to remind him. Well, I'm still here. Emmett is going to get a life of his own because he's getting a thing shirt, and he's going to start traveling with the things team to all of our locations. Yeah. So he needs his little friend too, Scott. He needs to come with them. So, I so basically, things just got his first mascot. Yes, things has a new member. I just have to work on his shirt. Yeah. No, you, you probably. I don't know if it'd be the same size as the one Angelia has, but might have to go a little smaller for him. He's gonna get like a newborn onesie kind of shirt. <laughs> <laughs> but he's going to have an official thing shirt and he's going to travel with us. Will you be able to um, cut the vinyl that small? Yeah. <laughs> I can cut the vinyl really small. <laughs> She's like, yeah. <laughs> I've already got this all in the works. I just, I've got to recuperate from Louisiana and I'll be good. <laughs> so if you want me to make a thing shirt for your little guy too, yeah, you've been we'll home. a thing shirt. There, there we go. We can we can stick those two somewhere in, at a location, put a camera on them, and see what happens. Yeah, Do exactly. Hey, new experiment. Yep. But if, yep. I'm telling you right now, yep. if mine gets up and starts walking, I'm running. I'm gone. I'm not staying around. <laughs> Not going I'm back sick. home with you? Are you kidding? No. I take I, it with I, me. I would go no, to that I'm, doll and start talking to him, see if I can get him to talk back to me. I'm the crazy one that wants Annabelle. So, dude, have you not seen the movie Chucky? <laughs> I've seen Chucky. I've seen all the Annabelles, and I want I Annabelle. I would add her to my doll collection. I'd give her a hug. Annabelle moves in. I'm moving out. <laughs> I figured out. <laughs> She's like, is that all it takes? <laughs> right. Sorry, I'm making a racket to you guys, but I'm trying. I'm trying to empty out my equipment, little equipment bag, so I can find the straps to hook a battery up for my phone for when I go outside to do this, because I'm not going to be carrying the laptop with me. You just remember, it's only two hours show, so hurry up. Yeah, well, being being on um, being yeah, on stream yard with my phone is going to really drain the battery. Scott, look, Weary Willie dolls. That's, That's awesome. You man. have. That is awesome. I know way too much about the clown world that I shouldn't know. I should have went to clown college, and it is a real thing. Yeah, it is. I was surprised. You know what, Sydney? I will take that as a great compliment. I will take that. I will. I, if it's I look been like they saw thirteen ghosts. If I, if I look like Matthew Lillard from Thirteen Ghosts, I I'll take that because <laughs> I've been told I look a lot worse. Uh, no, but I, I believe Aiden can. I was gonna say, do you remember Matthew Lillard? Lily, I can never say his freaking name. Lillard. Lillard. Yep. He uh, he also played uh, Shaggy in Scooby Doo. Oh, Shaggy. <laughs> you gotta get Aiden to do his Shaggy. Can you? I, it may, I may be wrong. It might have been Matt. I think it's my oldest boy, Matthew. Matthew's pretty talented. He can, uh, he can do a lot of different voices and stuff. So, Oh, come on now, Howard. Don't be that way. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. I can definitely see that. Oh, I, I like 13 Ghosts as a movie. I thought it was a good movie. I don't know that movie. Yeah, you do. 
He's well, going even with the Rube and he moves his family into a house mm -hmm. and it has all these ghosts trapped in it that releases them. I don't the know. Saw it a long time ago. We used to watch it all the time with me. I'm trying to think. The Juggernaut and uh, yeah, something else. The torso. The torso. Um, the wicked princess. The big baby and the child. Um, the mother. You've seen it. You just don't remember. Ha Howard. I'm not burning down the clown college. Clowns In fact, Howard, are you come up here. Good. We'll take you over there. Yeah, come up here. Come on up here. Come on. Prairie's only want, like an hour away. Um, the jackal. The jackal. The princess. <laughs> yeah, the princess in the tub. Yeah, she was um, kind of my favorite, too. <laughs> <laughs> TMI. This is a family-friendly show. Keep it PG. That's why I'm married. I, I I am keeping it PG. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying, yeah, she was my favorite. Um, yeah, that's PG. Have you seen some of the PG stuff these days? Oh my lord! <laughs> right? What classifies for PG anymore? Keep walking, son. Keep walking. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to Glass House or not. Glass um, House? Are you talking about the one with Lily uh, Sorbinski, Dawn? Because that's a good movie. Or are you saying that in the 13th Dimension, the no, house they moved about into the glass was a Glass House? house. Ghost. Yeah, oh, okay. 13 Ghost. Yeah. Right. I don't think I could ever live in I, I I'd be scared to do anything in that house. All right, Jeremy, are you ready to take us touring on this? Well, awesome. um, okay. almost. I, I, I got, I got everything all set up here. Um, turns out I didn't need the strap to put the battery on. Just, I was able to screw it in here. But um, I am trying to find the cord that would go from the battery to the phone. But I think it might be in my other equipment bag, which is in the trunk of my car. Not like you haven't been, you know, traveling the country and investigating for the last two weeks. I haven't really had a chance to investigate. I've tried twice to go to the pet cemetery there south of Vegas and can't get in. Yeah, but you were investigating Waverly Hills last week. And Crown Point. And Crown Point. And did Crown Point. Speaking of Crown Point. Yeah. Scott. He says he loves Howard, and he wants to see him. <laughs> oh, Howard, ain't that sweet? <laughs> okay, um, Howard, there's not enough beignets in the world as much as said, I love him to get me away from clowns. He said he has aquatic <laughs> entities too. <laughs> Scott. Okay, so, so while you yes. go, while you guys are about crown point i'm gonna go out to the car get my other bag bring it in here so that i can get that cord hi <laughs> did and did you do what i told you yes i took a dime into um anna's room did I you did. aiden and, and michael go in there and talk to her we i don't Michael did not go with us. He had done some kind of session, a session, and it completely wore him out. He come walking up and he was dripping with sweat and he sat down and he was, he was snoring. <laughs> he was Normal snoring. Michael. <laughs> but, um, the group that I was with, uh, there was, uh two girls and a guy me and aiden and we went into anna's room and they actually were getting some pre pretty decent activity um then really just <laughs> spirit box because it just it was echoing so loud yep and it just it, it was horrible 
So um, we were able to, uh, we took Ains EMF detector and temperature gauge and they were getting great fluctuations on temperature, big drops between five and nine degree temp drops. And um, just, yeah, uh, it, it would light up, you know, like we would, they would ask questions and it, it would respond with the lightening up. So it was really cool. It was really fascinating. So yeah, thank you. And yeah. I told her, I said, this is from Crystal, you know, so. You know, when we were talking while we were at, um, while we were at Gabe's and I was showing you guys the team and stuff, um, I could feel you getting closer to Anna's area and I started shaking. Really? You, you got to herself. <clears throat> and then as we came back from Louisiana, we stopped about 20 minutes in the, into Indiana and cause somebody had to use the restroom again. And I opened the door and I looked down on the ground and there's a dime. That is awesome. Yeah. As soon as we got in, <clears throat> Indiana, I yeah. mean, we'd stopped plenty of times before then, but it's kind of coincidental that I find one in Indiana and a dime. So I'm, I'm no. collecting more to go back. Well, unfortunately, you know, how a crown point is with me they must not have wanted to do anything so yeah i was disappointed oh your but, friend up in the, yeah, the, the yeah. room <laughs> yeah. but we did have um we had some really good stuff go on uh the, my group my group that i had we started out out in juvenile and uh you know uh i did i did my little light up uh fidget spinner mm -hmm. put it out really didn't get any action with that like usual but uh and so the one girl stacy uh she was all about it man she was asking questions <laughs> she was on top of everything had went over to one of the bunks and was asking just questions, seeing if she could get somebody there to uh, to move the bed. Well, she's like, "Oh my God, it moved!" And you know, I was like, eh, "We'll see." Well, Aiden, Aiden went over there, and uh, he put his hand on the bed along with her. And Aiden, you know how Aiden is. And he'll yeah. attest to it. He's like, Dad, that bed moved. I felt it. And I was like, dude, that's awesome, man. That's cool. So, it was cool. It really was. <coughs> but it was just, it was a great night. Uh, for those who, you are just joining us, we saw Jeremy being at the Clown Hotel. Uh, right now, I'm currently talking about uh, par uh, the Paranormal Relief Project that we did <laughs> Saturday night. Uh at Crown Point, Indiana, at the Old Lake County Sheriff's House. So, and uh, but it was awesome, you know, because we didn't originally. I think we between we were supposed to have like twenty four guests, but only half showed up. So, it was it wasn't a, necessarily a bad thing. I mean, it kind of sucked, but I think on like. For the groups to have a better experience, I think it worked out better. Yeah, so. Crown Point is one of those where sound resonates throughout the entire building. So the less people you it have, does. I think it's the better. Oh, and yeah. just so you know, Crystal, you know how I get when I do investigations and I like to kind of scare somebody. Good. I hope somebody else got it this time. Oh, the whole group did because he, he got five of them. <laughs> yes, he got <laughs> five of them. So let, let let me set the scene for this one. Um, you do that. So so I was I was with the group of, of five young women, and none of them had ever been on an investigation. One of them was extremely enthusiastic, 
Because every time one of us would say um, something about something that had already happened, she's like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, man, <laughs> she was out. Let me tell you that. Um, so we we were on the second floor behind Universal. They're in the, um, the community room, I guess you could call it, where they were playing the cards. And I was actually teaching these women how to play cards. Playing were five you playing card poker? Stud. <laughs> five card stud, yeah. yeah. See, I've taken your money like I did last yeah. time. And, and we were doing the exact same thing as what we did last time, um, just grabbing random stuff on the table, using them as any up and okay, I call. So out of nowhere, I hear, ah! Oh, <laughs> Five of them, I, all five of them, I thought were going to jump right off the bench. <laughs> it was hilarious. Well, Scott, uh, it was hilarious. I didn't get you back at Waverly. I'm surprised none of them were really happy for that. I, you know, I am too. So, but I still have some tricks up yeah. my sleeve. So make sure you watch. You tried. You and Holly both tried to scare me at Waverly. Oh, I have a whole different thing for you, bud. No, no, no. Uh oh. You should have seen her in the cemetery in Louisiana. Oh, oh getting eaten by mosquitoes. Well, you were getting eaten oh. alive. We were all getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. But all of a sudden, she looked down. And she goes, "Oh my God, are those cockroaches? These cockroaches, no joke." Three, four inch long, come crawling out of a tomb. Yeah. Oh, dude, that would be freaky. I got, okay, so in Louisiana, yeah. they don't bury the dead in the ground. They bury them in like mausoleums and above ground crypts. And Howard said, there's one over there that you could probably see the, uh, the coffin in. And I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, you can't. We found a grave that was cracked and I could reach my hand in and touch the coffin of the person. That was like really creepy to me. Did you touch it? Hell no, I didn't touch it. It was like moss mossy and the ground was really soggy and I was already getting ate up by mosquitoes. I'm still itching. <laughs> I asked that, and you should have seen the look on Tim's face. He's like, right, he just asked, really asked that? Yeah, I did. <laughs> but, yeah. I thought about it, but I didn't. I pictured I mean, about I, it. I, I understand that, you know, being a deceased person and whatnot. So, is anybody yeah, else to show respect? No, well, yeah, absolutely. Yes, Sydney. So, this was supposed to be like a crypt with two people buried in it. One person was already buried. The other person wasn't. I don't know if they're not going to be or what, but it was like <laughs> open. And I peered my light down into it. And all of a sudden, all these cockroaches came out. And I'm like, what the heck is this shit? It was an Indiana Jones moment. Nice. <laughs> Howard, yes. Louisiana state bird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I get I'm, those I'm, big I'm, flying I'm, ones down there. there. Yeah, they're like, no joke. I, I wasn't going to mess with them. All right, Jeremy, you all hooked up and ready to go? I think I am. He's still working. I've got, I got two batteries two batteries on here, but the problem is I, I, I had the one hooked up into my phone, but it, my phone kept vibrating from it, and it was actually still losing. So I, I may not necessarily have enough juice in these batteries to go. Because I haven't used them uh, after I charged them up. No, the Waverly Ghosts have drained them. Uh, Sandy I, did. Like I charged. Two, two I charged days. these things on um, on Wednesday. Just two days yeah, ago. Yeah, Waverly Ghost Linger. Sandy, what? Sandy did let two of the ladies do a fear challenge while we were there at Crown Point Two. Really? Yeah. And they both did very well. Of course, they were both the ladies from my group. <laughs> we rocked. <laughs> so. Um, 
I could go down a rabbit hole, but oh, that second group uh, when we changed, yeah, uh, Stacy was one of them. Stacy and I think the other girl's name was Jennifer. Her and her uh, husband Mark were part of the group, my group, and then we kind of switched, which really didn't happen because <laughs> we ended up all being together, but. Uh, yeah, yeah, and I guess they did really well, didn't freak out or anything. So I'm. I know you're going to say something. Say something. I know you're going to say the it. End of the night, towards the end of the night, um, everybody got locked up. Yes. Ah, they got locked but, down. But, yeah, but we only used the one side. We didn't use the side that you guys were in. We oh, you didn't just want anybody to bash their heads off the cell doors. No, actually, no. it was um, Sandy's idea because of how few people we had. Uh, we could put everybody in there. Now, I had a cell to myself. Uh, think, Scott, you had a cell to yourself? No, I was with Joe Swillow. Oh, he was in there with you? Okay. Um, yeah, I know that three of the, the young ladies that was in my group, they they took a cell together, and the other two took a cell together. Um, Aiden the took couples that came in, they got their own cells. So yeah, Aiden had and, a cell by himself. Have you reviewed Jane any of your says, evidence? I haven't. I haven't had the chance to. We haven't either. We got way of really sitting on the back burner. And it's I know, but <laughs> I uh, I got in trouble. I I've been a little busy. What'd you do? So we got locked down, and I got us stuck inside the cells. That was me that got us stuck, Jeremy. I'd have whipped you up one side and I down the other. You anyway. So <laughs> me and Joe's in our cell. And I'm like, hey, dude, watch this. I grabbed the door and I opened it up about eh, about that much. And it came off the track. <laughs> so we got, yeah, we kind of got stuck in the cell. I'd beat you. I'd beat you. <laughs> you, you. Scott, you do realize that all of them doors are connected to one pulley, right? He do not care. Yeah. He screwed everybody in that cell. He did. Well, you know. You got all of us stuck, Scotty. Yeah, I know. I'd have beat you. Great. You'd have been done. I'd have beat you. You ain't done nothing. Yeah, you wait. You nothing. wait. There's some people who know what's going on. You I, wait. I'm right, not the Jeremy, only one. Before your camera dies, you, let's. Yeah. You would, you, would prob you would probably beat him for less than that, I'm sure. Mm hmm. Before your phone dies, Jeremy, let's add in your other stream and start on the tour. Well, let, let me get my head pulled back so that I'm not so, so that it's not blowing all over the place when I get oh, out there. Yeah, he's got look like Don Juan. Yeah, Don Juan. Ladies That's and Don. gentlemen, the paranormal Don Juan, Jeremy York. Mm-hmm. And what do you say about the Don Juan of the paranormal, Timmy? Oh, I made the joke that none of the women, all the women don't want nothing to do with him. <laughs> exactly. Except that one, and she's probably going, exactly. oh, my Lord, he's so cute. <laughs> Hi, Jenny. Hi, okay, Jenny. I'm going to I'm gonna silence everything on the laptop and then turn the volume up on the phone, see how it, see how it does. Okay. okay all right. right, good luck. Do it. <laughs> It's like I'm seeing double. Right? That's scary, man. There's two Jeremy Orcs in this world. <laughs> you got good Jeremy and evil twin Jeremy. Oh, oh, I, I'm, on a, I'm on a time delay, too. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, we're going to oh. remove good Jeremy off the stream. Oh yeah! No, oh, no, no. And now he's got the shades too. He's he's rocking it now. Scott, Scott, you'll crack up with this. You'll, you'll remember this old song. 
Rico. Suave. Wow. Rico. Oh, yeah. Hey, does that kind of look okay. like an A Terminator? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, man. All right. That's so me. I'm sorry for all those. Of, I didn't want to offend nobody, but that was funny. Okay, so. Um, I'm going to go into the, to the office. So first of all, I don't know how well you can see it from here, but the cemetery is right over there. Yeah, I can I can make it out. Nice. Yeah. Do you guys see the sign? I do see the sign. I do. Emmett, look at the sign. Look. Hi, Valerie. Then. Yes. Here's one of my favorite signs right here. <laughs> nice. You need to get a picture by it. Yeah. I'm 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 definitely gonna try to get a picture of it. Uh if I think about it. So here's Ronald McDonald. Dude, there was an antique shop on our way home from Louisiana that had a Ronald McDonald and I could have bought one. Wouldn't have fit in the Mustang, but I could have bought one. One clown at a time, Crystal. One clown at a time. Okay. Yeah, you've already been married now, so <laughs> 20 years. 20? Yeah, right? I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to change this here facing back. <laughs> Valerie's like, oh hell no, I'm out. I ain't want to clown <laughs> stalls. No. Nope. There we go. Well, Jeremy's live with the Finally figured out how to change everything. <laughs> yep, this is the museum part. <laughs> oh, cool. Very cool. I'm going to try to go slow. It says <laughs> photography not allowed, Jeremy. <laughs> Sorry, Valerie. I said photography not yeah. allowed. <laughs> but he's not taking pictures. He's doing video. We're rebels. Photography welcome here. Oh, it's welcome. Oh. Yeah. My computer keeps glitching. Does it? No, it's his phone. Oh, is it? Oh, and they've also um, taken some of the presidents and clowned them up a little bit. Oh, nice. Andrew Jackson. Andrew Jackson. FDR. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> Jeremy, I want that big George one right w. there. Bush. It's the dubs. I want that big clown that's sitting right there. Can you bring him back with you? Is there a story here. about that big clown? This one? Yeah. yeah, I want I want you to bring him home. You can ride in the carpool lane if you do. I don't have room in I don't have room in the carpool. Uh, you better leave some equipment behind because I want that clown. Um no. Well, here's Ghost Space. <gasps> Very awesome. He just showed a, he yeah. just showed a weary willy. Did he? Yeah, Did go you know? back, Jeremy. There was a weary willy. Mom, what? A weary willy. It's what, what Scott's you? doll is. What are you showing on your TV show, Mom? Oh. <laughs> yeah, this one right yeah, yeah, that's a weary willy. That's what I have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it. Oh, that's you over there? No. Oh. We, we have a young lady here. 
Yeah, I was going to ask you, Jeremy, if you had somebody with you. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's, I was like, yeah, you hear that? So she, so she's kind of pointing things out for me. That <laughs> for our awesome. viewers, thank you so much. Is she there by yeah, herself? Um, the um, the, the other two guys that that are here, they're actually out at the um, motel sign. Oh, nice. Or at least they were. Yeah, her, her daddy was out there at the at the sign. So Sally yeah. is just wandering through the clown motel by herself. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, same here in the so corner. Obviously, like, I think she I likes clowns. clowns. That's Ronald. Made out of Legos. Did you hear that? I heard a creepy girl When she voice. was little, she wanted to stay here all the time. Yeah. Future yeah, paranormal you know. investigator. That's so, what that yeah, we is. got we got all of these right here. <laughs> Dude, I yep. have some of those clowns. That's the sad thing. You know, if I own that, yeah. you know I would dress up and jump and, out. And at none of these things are for sale, just in case anybody was wondering. See some of those some of those porcelain clowns that you're showing, I have in my attic. I'm just saying. And Scott, that, that looks like it was your height, all. so you'd be good. Oh, that's dirty, bro. That's dirty. <laughs> oh, that's so dirty. What's that? <laughs> Jeremy's making friends so. with the clown myself. I am. <laughs> um, here's one that I'm liking. It looks like he's holding on to a bowling ball. Yeah, it kind of looks like you. See, she just confirmed it. It looks like, yeah, he's he's um, holding on to um, a bowling ball. That is awesome. So, dude. Yeah. Oh, he, he, here's one. Here's one that I like. Well, bowling yeah, shoes that, do. Look that's a what lot. Jeremy looks like in the morning. In case anybody. True that. Yes, yeah, Sydney. Uh, you're probably right because I'm not a pretty sight when I'm waking up <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> yeah, no, neither I'm, am I. But but yeah, these. I, I can only impersonate one clown. She just pointed out a little Jack in the Box here. I love Jack in the Boxes. Yeah, and again, none of these um, clowns are for sale. Yes. Are they for stealing? <laughs> That's for a friend. <laughs> yeah, Jack in the Boxes are all good and fun until they go off by themselves. Clown painted on rocks. <coughs> Check this one out. Valerie, and, I the double Jack Pennywise the one. <laughs> and, and she wanted me to point out this rock that she did herself. Oh, here, here's a cool one. Yeah, the court. Jeremy, can we paint rocks for our next things meeting? I'll see why not. Cool. It'd be pretty cool to have a have a things rock. There you go. You can sit it out in front of your house. We could take it and drop it yeah. off the location that we uh, that we investigate. Here's, here's another clown that you guys may or may not like. That's the first that thing in the morning. <laughs> That's the first thing in the morning? I can only impersonate one clown. Who is it? Krusty the Clown from The Simpsons. Oh, do it, dude. Do it. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Here's a picture of an actual person dressed dressed as a clown. Stop showing my pictures, Jeremy. Keep moving. Uh, let's see. Hi, boys and girls. <laughs> Your old pal, Krusty. 
Valerie says she can't open some up more rocks here biscuits. for her. She can't open up biscuits because she has a mini heart attack. <laughs> I just walk. Oh. Bam. And and for, for those for those of you who don't know, there were some movies that were filmed out here. Here's one of them, Clown Motel. Oh no, that's my that's not my favorite. No. <laughs> oh, that's not that's her not favorite. favorite. Keep moving. One. Keep moving. Right. So there's um, there's another, and they they actually just did a a movie shoot here. They just wrapped up yesterday or yeah yesterday. Um, called Curse of the Clown Motel. So Ooh, that'll nice. be coming out soon. Yeah. I know what, I know what Jeremy wants for Christmas. <laughs> my dad, my you, you may be right. My dad sounds like a doctor. He looks like Stanley Lorenzo. Like, he was like, that's a doctor. <laughs> that's a real one. <laughs> Oh, Sydney, it's not that bad. Jeremy, how how old is yes. your guest? I'm four. She's four how, years how old. old. Is her new she well, said she's four. Four. She is four. Is she, In yeah. she seems so intelligent. <laughs> like, very intelligent. Yes, um, she's going to be a natural salesperson. Does she want to be a clown when she grows up? What would you say, Crystal? Does she want to be a clown when she grows up? Do you want to be? She's shaking her head. Yes. Okay. I'm not going to put her on video, but I will show you guys to her. These are my friends. That's Scotty, Crystal. Hi. Hi, sweetie. And Tim. Hi. Hi. She can go to clown college in so. Peru. <laughs> yes. Oh, she lost to Las she Vegas. Told you so. talking like Circus Delay. Yep. Jeremy, my son brought up an interesting yeah. point, but he brought it up in a roundabout way. Do they have any memorabilia there of John Wayne Gacy? No. Do that. Probably not. Did you say no? Yeah. No, they do not. I told you because he was an evil clown. His triangles is a threat in the in the clown community. Yeah, I know. You have no clown makeup. Yeah, I know useless facts. And then they so have I really should not know. Then they have all kinds of sweatshirts and hoodies for sale. Okay, Jeremy, I wear a size medium. Uh, I wear a small. <laughs> so I thought, I thought that'd be extra small okay so i'm gonna go ahead and head on outside um i'm gonna go out to the road but first of all i'm gonna don't play um, in hold on my parents used to say the opposite of me they used to tell me to go play in the four lane traffic <laughs> <laughs> okay so why. i'm gonna head on outside thank you so much oh. <laughs> so i'm gonna you're very welcome so i'm gonna head on out to I'm going to head on out to the sign. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's the temperature over there right now, Jeremy? I think Jeremy is very has comfortable. Okay, so I'm a little guy with no meat, so comfortable to me is about 75 degrees. I would say it's right at about 70. Um, let, let's let's see here what my phone says. It is. Oh, it's still stuck in Vegas. Um, it's still saying ninety-three degrees. Yeah, but no, it is that. far from ninety-three. It is extremely comfortable out here. Right on. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> That's where we keep my house at. It's about seventy. <laughs> hey Tim. What? Valerie said she doesn't like how that creepy doll is staring at you. Look at look at the doll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is. Oh wow. 
<laughs> you know what's funny though? Tim, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna change the camera, camera again. Okay. All right, so so here's the famous sign. Uh, the guys are the guys are actually working on putting the banner back together on there, and then here is the motel itself. It's not very big; it's thirty-one rooms. Right on. Yeah, I do believe one of the Call of Duties on one of their maps was actually the Clown Motel as well. That might I be. I can't remember. I will text my expert. As I said, I was going to ask my Mason. Yes. Yeah, she's fine. Is there, is there a clown motel? Oh, yeah, she's fine. She, she's actually been duty. helping out quite well, going in a whole bunch of different things out there in the museum. Yeah. Um, she's, she's a nice little tour guide. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Thank you, Eva. Yeah. <laughs> So, <clears throat> Jeremy's staying at it tonight. Yeah. Jeremy, you're apparently, you're apparently more brave than Mason is. Don't say I can't that. hear you, Tim. I said you're apparently more brave than Mason. Why does Mason not like clowns? Not necessarily, no. Okay. So I'm going to... I am going to change the thing back for the time being. Right. <laughs> is his friend still following him? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now... Now we are getting ready to walk into the cemetery, and it's a small cemetery. Hmm. Now, is it the cemetery? Is this from that people have that have died there at the hotel, or is this more of a family kind of like cemetery? No. This No, this one here, um, change it back here. Okay, now now that I know how to actually change the the camera angle. So, no, this is the Tonopah Cemetery. Yeah, but you can't okay. walk. Now, now, the people that built, to my understanding, the people that built the motel are buried uh -huh. here. Their families. <laughs> Oh wow! So it's more of a family. Mo uh, uh. Oh. Bye, Jeremy. See you later, homie. <laughs> oh, there he's coming back. Maybe, possibly. You need to ask Jeremy if he's got any thirteenth dimension photos on him. Just hand it to the little girl and tell her to go. She's creeping me out. <laughs> Okay, we're going to click our heels together three times. And everybody say there's no place like you. Look. I hear his little friend, but I don't hear him. <laughs> right? Hi, Jeremy. <laughs> but not him that just laughed. Okay, I'm going to have to run back up to my room and grab the next password. Thank you for showing me around. Are you going to be back? Yeah, I'll be coming back down here as soon as I get to go back. Jeremy. Hey, uh, yeah. Sorry, Steve. This is weary, okay. really. Tell Jeremy to ask and this Jeremy is, to dimension photos with him. This is Emmett Kelly. Yeah, I'm staying here tonight. Uh, Jeremy, do you have any 13th Dimension photos with you in your room? 
Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello. 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 Uh, can you hear Tim? Do you have any 13-dimensional okay, so, photos with you? Nope. Lost them again. Nice to see you. Nice far back. away from the signal. They they gave me they gave me two Wi-Fi, so I need to connect to the other one. Do you have any do you have any of our 13 dimension photos with you? No, I don't. I wish I did. Do you have a things bracelet? Do you have a spare things bracelet? Yes, um, I am going to be giving one to the to the little girl. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, so I don't know if you heard me, heard me and Tim, Steve, but this is Weary Willie. And then this is Emmett <laughs> Kelly. And this guy is the grandson of that guy. Son. No, the son I need a, of this guy. The son? Oh, I'm yes. sorry. He is the son of that dude. Hi, Daddy. Hi, son. <laughs> when a clown passes down the patent on their face, it's called passing down the nose. Passing down the nose. Like I said, I know too much clown facts. It's ridiculous. Jeremy is now frozen in an immortal state of... What would you call that look? Uh, I'm not going to say Concern? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> struggling to have aquatic entities come out. And that word we call constipation. <laughs> there he is. Okay, shall we try this again? I don't know, Don Juan, should we? I think your friend is looking for you. What? I think your friend is looking for you. Yeah, she's uh, waiting down here at the stairs for me. <laughs> Steve said, so who's paying child support? <laughs> yes, Anita, you're right. Clown's, fa clown's faces are patented. A lot of people don't know that. So like you said, pickles wasn't someone else's face. And depending on the face paint... If it's a good clown or a threatening clown, hence John Wayne Gacy with the triangle Thank eyes. Thank you, Nicole. I appreciate that. Okay. I'm going to try this again. Go, go down into the cemetery. Hopefully the signal will hold. And just to let you guys know, I am frozen. It didn't, it didn't hold. <laughs> I think your friend is blocking the signal. Your friend is keeping me out, Jeremy. Look at his face. I mean, he kind of looks like one of those wrestlers. He's giving a, do you know what I'm talking about? You know? <laughs> oh, hi, Jeremy. Now he's back. Oh. Hello. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know how well this is going to work, but we're going we're gonna to try this here in the cemetery. Well, so far, it's been fun for us. <laughs> so far, your face is frozen twice in yeah. amusing poses, uh, and there it is again. Can someone? Oh, no, Whoa, we have a comment. Do they have attachments? I'm uh, guessing yes. Are you just playing with dolls? We like our dolls. Name. The Welcome to the 13th dimension, folks. We freeze the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi he has that reminds me of the Wi-Fi he has at home. It never works. <laughs> I don't know, Scott, but I see him in those sunglasses, and all like, the only thing that keeps playing through my mind is do 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 I, I wear my sunglasses at night. That there he's night. back. Oh, hey, Jeremy. <laughs> and he's immediately froze again. 
This time in a very pitchers. frustrated look. <laughs> They're very good pitchers, though. Like he may what? end up drop kicking the camera. <laughs> I'm just saying. Jeremy's cameraman this, is fired. Too bad it's Jeremy himself, but he's fired. Bye, he, Jeremy. He, he's taking really good selfies. I'm just saying. This is the same <laughs> kind I would take them myself. Like that last one, he absolutely killed it. The lighting was good. That last one, all he needed was a cigar coming out of his mouth, and he would have been comes. Razor Ramon. There he goes. <laughs> I'll, I'll come back later. I just won't be able to do it here on the internet. There you are. Kinda. And there you go again. Uh, now you're getting York the side profile. Yeah, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. It's definitely not going to work in the cemetery. Yeah, it's not going to work. So, this is hey, why we do so thank, you, thank you so much for helping me out. Yep. Give her some gear. Yeah, absolutely. I would like that. Huh? Just, just go buy her a DVR system. Give her some gear, Jeremy. Empty your car. Yeah, give her the DVR system. <laughs> yeah. give, give her like a, a trail cam or something. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. I will have. I, I, I do. I will have a gift for you. It's a little bracelet. Give her a dog. Yeah. Um, girls like bracelets. That's good. I know right. It's that's a little girl's voice. Yeah, I need to <laughs> Anita a says, give her a bowling ball, ball, Jeremy. Uh, no. Thank you again. <laughs> Those things cost more than the DVR system. <laughs> Anita said that. Anita, shame on you. Well, from my understanding, you Although didn't I will tell you this, though. after the way that I bowled these last three days, yeah. I probably would give away a bowling ball. <laughs> Oh no, that bad! <laughs> oh man, yeah. Well, no. I need to stop bad. saying that thing. Um, That's bad luck for you, apparently. Steve says, "Give her some slim gems, Jeremy." That's kind of, I, I don't have that. any. He ate them all on the way to the clown motel. <laughs> no, See, I, 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 I forgot to bring some with me. <clears throat> He was You're okay. Fired, he was driving down the road, peeling that thing open and going, snap into a Slim Jim. Oh, yeah. I don't even, see. I can't even do that. I can't even put comments up. That sucks. I can't. How do you how do you do that? You click on it and put it up. There he All is. Right, so he'll part with on. an EMF detector before he parts with the bowling ball. You're probably almost right. All right, clicking on. So, uh, Jeremy, give us a little history of the paranormal activity at the Clown Motel. Tell us what you've learned. Okay. Tim, stop being so So, the room that, room that I'm sitting in is the Halloween room. <laughs> The room that I'm staying yeah. in is the Halloween room, um, 210. And I am going, you know, I'm just going to read off exactly what, what it says. Uh, room 210. Suffering from excruciating back pain while on a long haul journey, a man from Arizona made a, from a four stop at the what? It was a man from Indiana. Did I say Indiana? No, <laughs> but I'm saying it should be a man from Indiana. You're confusing, confusing me. me, poor guy. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm pretty sure All I right. said Arizona, and now you're making me think I didn't. No, you're fine. Um, Go ahead. So, a man from Indiana. Uh, Arizona. <laughs> Stop it, you two. <laughs> a man from Arizona made a four stop at the Clown Motel. It was there was a physical condition that he had had for many years, um, where he failed to find any kind of real medical diagnosis, and it was frustrating him to to, to no ends. 
So the night that he stayed here in the morning for the first time in many years, he woke up here in this very room feeling completely different. Um, he literally had no back pain at all. And he was convinced that the spirits here at the motel had cured him. So he decided to live here and he lived here for the, the next six years and ended up dying in this room. Cool. Can there we send was, Tim to see the help with his back pain? Yeah, but that means he will be staying here for six years. And then we'll after six out. years, he will become part of the hotel. And your point. Thank you, Steve. You want to post that comment? You have, I can't do that. So, Tim, do you have a good life insurance policy? He does, if it's accidental. Thank um, you, Steve. <laughs> Comedy hour is good with you all. Yeah, I got the best one. I got the us. best one we have at work. So you know how much that is. <laughs> Hi, yeah. Mohammed. I got. I got Ooh. the same policy. Who's uh, coming in as? Is a uh, pun. Yeah, who's you the pun? Name person? after yourself. But they don't like the corner over by the lamp. Nobody puts baby in the corner. That's right. Over there, behind you, over your shoulder. Yeah, that's um. It's Jen. Okay. You, I would believe. So Jen Jennifer Lee is saying she doesn't like that corner of the room. Yeah, if, if Jennifer said it, then yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, you're good, Bob. Tell me they at least you know, had some up. bozo the clown stuff there because you never see anything bozo anymore. Jeremy. Yes. Did they have Bozo or Cookie? I did not see him. What? I don't even know who Cookie is. I don't know who Did you never is. watch the Bozo show when you were growing up? Nope. Out of Chicago? Nope. You deprived man, you. Jeremy, you have lived a sheltered life. I grew up on Scooby-Doo. Gilligan's Island, Flintstones, the Jetsons. I grew up on the good stuff. Well, Bozo was a good one, too, with the sidekick cookie. And the grand prize game. If you got it all the way in the sixth bucket, you got a, you you got got a, a free bike. swim bicycle. Dude, we need to have, like... Team movie TV show night. Just right. teach everybody everything. No, no, no. I got Bozo DVDs in here. Going all the way back to the 60s when it started. Scott, do you know who Bozo the Clown was? Absolutely. It was Thank one of my you. favorite shows watching. Jeremy, for your age and you not knowing, I'm extremely disappointed in you. Yeah, the grand... Mm -hmm. Prize game. I mean, how do you not know who Bozo the Clown is? Do you know who Happy is? Okay, even even April says, "How the hell do you not know?" Well, he didn't really yes. grow up yes. in Indiana, right? How old were you when I you moved not. to Indiana? Oh, you didn't grow up in Indiana. Where, where are you originally from? Well, I was born in Indiana. And then okay. at the age of three, we moved to Florida. And to Florida? we were there until. Yeah, yeah, that explains a lot. That explains a lot. So. Even Teresa says so almost we everyone from Florida. Indiana and Illinois is Bozo. Bozo? Right. I know who Bozo is. I just never watched him. Oh, okay. So, so, we, yeah. lived, so we lived in Florida until I was nine years old. Yeah. And then we moved yeah. out to Arizona. And we lived in that, Phoenix for one year. And then we came. And then we came back to to Indiana when I was ten. Okay. Yeah, she, okay. Still, do you know? Do you know who Happy the Hobo is? 
I know the name. Happy's place. With Froggy? Yep, I know that. That had that had Thundercats on it, man. Happy to show Thundercats on Happy's place. And Froggy's pad? Happy to hobo his real name was Mike, and he was from Huntington, Indiana. He was from Roanoke, depending on which happy you're talking about. Mike Fry. Huntington County. Depending on which happy you're talking about. I can tell you stories about happy, but they're not appropriate. (laughs) Me too, Teresa. Me too. Okay, so I'm going to start. Steve did it. Channel 55. Yes. 55. Fox 55. Fox 55. Fox 55. That's right. Roanoke, Indiana. When we were growing up, that was part of the Farmer's Five. Happy lived two streets down from me. Roanoke, Indiana. No kidding. They got one stoplight. No grocery stores that went out of business. (laughs) They do. One. And, and that stoplight is right there at 24 and the very end of the extension of 469. Well, yes. There's 24 and Vine. There's a flashing light on Main Street and there's one up by Roanoke Elementary. Three. They're flashing lights. There's not a stoplight except for on 24. Shh. I know, Roanoke, you're not going to fool me. Me too. I live by it. I grew up in Roanoke. I spent that, 19 years that, there. That explains a lot. Yeah. At least it's not Andrews. And Nanny, 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 Nanny. Sydney, there's a <laughs> lot of Roanokes. Yeah, there's a lot of Roanokes. Roanoke, Virginia, Roanoke, Indiana. Uh, that's the only two I know of. <laughs> there's a Roanoke in Texas, too. Oh, okay. Rosie wants to know, Jeremy, how many clowns yeah. are at that hotel? I, I don't think thing. I have the ability to count that high. Um, let's see. Well, we know of at least see thirty-one. <laughs> that's when you. That's when you say T N T C. Okay, numerous, on the website count. it says it is home to over two thousand clowns. From every era and corner of the earth, but they don't have bozo. <laughs> no, no. See, this, this is just getting creepy because well, it's probably there. I just couldn't down. see it. You got to remember when you're looking at two thousand of these things, you're bound to miss something. That's true. Especially so, if it's just a <laughs> tiny little porcelain thing. Sydney lives in Roanoke, uh, Texas. Yeah, Scott's and, talking and, about it. Anita is yep. in Roanoke, Virginia, and Sydney's in Roanoke, Texas. And I'm close to Roanoke, Indiana. And You're from Crystal Roanoke, Indiana. Grew up in Roanoke, that's Indiana. Too many weird, that's too weird a crap right there, man. Well, that, that is what I call the Roanoke Triangle. <laughs> You'll disappear there. That could be very bad. Yeah. And that is a you very... Could. Large, get down. Uh, You're trademark. right. Boza is a trademark clown. Yep. If you want his face, you're gonna pay for it. Absolutely. Yeah, but all of these porcelain, all these porcelain dolls, everything in that museum was donated to them by somebody. Yeah, I could probably donate so about another thousand. Are, there more. probably is the paranormal group name, the Roanoke, the Roanoke Paranormal Society. Run up triangle. Yeah. Well, Run up triangle and you figure out where we're from. The Rono Triangle. It, it. Okay. I still say yeah, it's scary to disappear in, Andrew, in Andrews, Indiana. Uh, if you disappear in Andrews, Indiana, you're probably locked in a hole in somebody's basement. It puts the lotion on. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they don't really. Uh... I seem to be missing some of my cords, which is probably in that bag back there. 
Okay, who's playing We've music? We've been past Roanoke, Virginia. Roanoke, awesome. Virginia Beach. Yep, the Croatoan. Roanoke Island, where all those people disappeared and they never did find them. We went to um, yeah, Virginia that. Beach. And by the way, Tim, it is the skin gets the lotion again or it gets the hose again, correct? No, it puts the lotion <laughs> on its skin or it gets the hose, gets the hose again. again. Okay, that's what I said. Is that that's why I was like, correct? I wanted to make sure. And I totally chopped it up. But since that Good vision is bill. since that vision is in my head, I'm gonna reenact it tonight. Do you want me to take you a, a picture and send it to you? No, I'm good. Send it to Tim. Don't send it to the group. <laughs> <laughs> this is the wrong one. I'm, I'm really good, Scott. They had okay. a group called Para Roanoke for a bit. That's pretty awesome. The problem is you don't know which Roanoke. See, I want to take the guys to Roanoke, Indiana, because that's where, no, that's where Kilsaquah is buried. I'm going to show you guys her grave. It's beautiful. I suppose. It's beautiful. I'll meet you there. I'm five minutes away. Yeah, I'll meet you there. I'm about 20 minutes away, so. I know. I'll go. Yeah, Jeremy, you're like 14 hours currently away. <laughs> no, he's further than that. He's about hey, two I'm days lot. away. I, I am I'm currently a four, a four day drive from there. From home? A four day drive. Well, we need you back here, so you better hurry up. Um, you, Anita, Anita, you should definitely do that. Absolutely. And I'll, I'll make you guys a deal. If you guys want to do that, you give me a heads up time. And uh, I don't know, maybe I'll throw a pork, pork shoulder on the uh, smoker and I'll make pulled pork for us. That's what I'm saying. I'm glad you are because Tim's like, ooh. Tim is Tim. Tim. No, I, I'm worried about my homeboy because he's quiet tonight and Tim's never quiet. He's on all kinds of pain. Yeah, I know. So, what, so what's going on, Tim? I'm on uh, Leave him alone. muscle relaxers and nerve pain medication, so I'm feeling pretty good. Ah, uh, that would explain it. Oh, <laughs> we need to go visit Anita. They had an X file set there. Oh, well, is it still there? Hmm. Um, Jeremy. No, that, that wouldn't I'm, surprise I'm sorry me. that I'm all serious they tonight. They a lot Scott. of their shows in that area. I'm sorry for being all serious tonight, but how many rooms do they uh, say are haunted at the hotel? Um, hello, Google. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa, how many rooms of the hunt? Deal. Deal, Anita. Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, Anita. That would be fun. Campfire stories. That would be, hey. If anybody's looking for a TV show, Campfire Stories for the Paranormal Nine Network. Okay, so on the website, they only have four rooms specific listed out here. <laughs> Sorry, Nicole. <laughs> so it sounds like... Um, five all together because when the guys in the front room were listing off different room numbers uh they they called out another room number that's not listed on the website so it's probably five rooms here that's they say is haunted 
Um, and of course, everybody talks about the cemetery being haunted. Yep. Oh, hi, Kat. And Mercy, you can take it. And, I'm telling you. Um, you, you can go into the cemetery anytime you want, day or night. Don't even have to call dispatch for permission. Nice. That'd be an interesting, yeah. an interesting one for the 13th dimension, too. We had to call dispatch for our cemetery in Louisiana. No. But they needed to call dispatch on the uh, stupid mosquitoes that ate my uh, butt alive. That is, that, that's funny, Nicole. No offense. Alexa, play Dirty Diana by Michael Jackson. <laughs> Let me know if that worked. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something, being able to set off somebody else's Alexa from... Oh, well, she's... I did. She's playing now. Uh, she is playing now. Jeremy, yes. I do have a question yeah, you for you. Bad, bad boy. <laughs> yeah. The room so that you stayed in, stayed in while we were at Waverly was supposed to be a haunted room. Did you experience anything? The room that I stayed in was not haunted. The room that I wanted to, it was supposed supposedly extremely haunted. I thought you got the room that was that the guy hung himself. No, somebody had been basically living there for the past month. Oh well, just go kick him out. Same here. Tell him they can come back. May need the deodorizing. But you know, it's funny because <laughs> when where the room that me and Aiden stayed at at the hotel, I think it was Bart that said that my room was supposedly haunted. That they were having some uh, activity there, like a night or two before we got there, but I didn't. I didn't experience anything. But at the same time, uh, we were just so exhausted, you know. So it would have been cool, though. I don't remember much yeah. about that hotel, to be honest with you. How you doing, Blake? Hey, what's up, Blake? Uh, I thought it was funny. Uh, this is Emmett. That's our hotel in Louisiana. Oh, my God. We got a smoking room don't because we both smoke. Don't get me started on that room in Louisiana. <laughs> well, whoever was there before us wasn't smoking cigarettes. Yeah, we was contact high oh, we were smoking the good stuff. Yeah, we were contact five for a while. Oh, yeah. I walked in. I was like, oh. <laughs> so I'm going to use my Bluetooth speaker and hide it in one of my kids' room. And I'm going to find scary noises on my phone and just play them late at night. Make sure you record that so we can show it. <laughs> when Aiden gets that ninja move that he's got. No, oh, he Aiden, would get out of, Aiden would get out of bed and run downstairs, grab his recorder, run back upstairs, start recording it. Oh, yeah. Try to debunk it. He'll, he'll debunk it first, see what he does. Yeah, that's true. But those ninja like reflexes that he's got. Right. Dude, <laughs> I, wish, I wish we could post that video. Dude, that would. Just, Why can't we? I don't know how to do it. Jeremy has a copy of it. Can you screen share it? I can. It's in, uh, that, hold on a minute, guys. The, the one the one of Aiden? Yeah. yeah. Did you put it yeah. in the uh, uh, things chat? I think Aiden I did. Is in the things chat. So if we can share this video, I'm going to set it up for you. So Tuesday yeah. night at Waverly, Mean Aiden's in the electrotherapy shock room on the first floor, just by our command center. And some of the group had went on a tour of Waverly. Well, me and Aiden went on it Monday, so we decided we weren't going to do it Tuesday, and we wanted to do a spirit box session in this room. 
well, we're, while we are in there, uh, things investigator, our lead investigator, Scott Smith, him and my battle buddy, Jason Wright from the military, came into another room and was waiting for me to get up and walk by so they could scare me. And in reality, they actually ended up getting my son, Aiden. So, and it's one of the best videos I've seen in a while. I'm trying to find it. Actually, Chris was trying to find it. Well, don't ask me to because. All, all of a sudden I got myself a headache. You Just now? Headache? It's the clowns, Jeremy. Yeah. Take you something for it and don't bring anything back. Well, I already took some some Tylenol. What if I send this to uh, our chat? Send it to our chat and then I can find it right away because I'm not finding it in the things. In the the universal page? No, just our things group. You're just down to this Wednesday. Yeah. No, I won't go to the things group. Done. You did it? Yep. Some people I just sent it. Learn to hush the mouse. Okay. okay, Tim will take it over from here because he knows what he's doing. I don't. And by the way, the Clown Motel and Advanced Warfare are Call of Duty. I knew Aiden would knew. No, no, no. You know, yeah, what clown motel is in actually in one of the Call of Duties and it's advanced warfare, it's a map on advanced warfare. We're doing good, Blake. Have a safe trip coming home. I know how that indie traffic is. Okay, I got it right here. I got the slow mo yeah. version of it. There you go. That's right. Let me uh screen share. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was a good it was a good scare. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. Yeah, dude. He was gonna walk it. Yeah, he was giving me a walk into that room, dude. And <laughs> I'm going to play through here, one more time. Yeah, here it goes. Here's where he gets scared. Well, yeah. <laughs> dude, he was, he was ready to kick somebody, but he didn't care who. <laughs> Jim, can you maximize that? No, I, I just closed it out, actually. But, yeah, I don't know why. All of a sudden, he's got a headache. That's not so good. I took some Tylenol for it. So probably after the show, I'll go, or I'm going to have to, I'll go somewhere, um, give me some food. Yeah, there you, you go. Ate today? A little bit at the hotel. Um, I was gonna, I was gonna go down and have breakfast at one of the buffets, but. Michael and Jennifer came on for their show, and I, I really wanted to watch that, so I stayed and watched that and kind of snacked on a little bit what I had. Right. You I had you anything to eat. Yeah. So what are your plans after the Clown Motel? Um, well, Damn it, stop looking I at might time. be meeting up with a friend in Reno. Um, I don't know that yet. Then... Let's see, Monday, stop it to another friend. Are you on the first floor or the second floor? I'm on the second floor. Okay. Why are you asking? Uh, it may have been somebody walking past too because it has the outside ledge, right? Yeah, Blake, I understand that. Heart attack. <laughs> you would too if you rode with Tim. 
Hey, buddy, I'm nothing. Right with Howard. <laughs> right. There's nobody on the ledge. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, just like so your window black out there long, for a minute. The you saw it. How long ago did you see it? Um, uh, like maybe a minute before I said something. Yeah, I did too, Nicole. But I thought it was somebody walking by because I actually thought he was on the first floor. Okay, well, well, if it was a minute, that it probably that would be enough time for somebody to get downstairs and out of sight. Or unless it was somebody that's staying in one of these rooms. Is there a lot of people there? Um, actually, I, was, I think I was the only one checked in when I got here, but I'm seeing more and more vehicles every time I go out there. So, but yeah, um, it's pretty cool to finally stay here at the Clown Motel. Yeah, because you were supposed um, to stay there last year, weren't you? Um... Yeah, um, yeah, I was going to stay here last year. I had even talked to the owner of the place in person because he was going to set it up to where that any of the rooms that were vacant while I was here, I was going to have access to them to do a full-blown investigation. Um, but I'm that was being set trip. up about two years ago. It's a long road trip, buddy. Trust me, I know. Do it. Well, we could uh, go out there as a team and yeah. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm currently I'm currently three and a half hours away from Vegas, and I'm about another three and a half hours away from Reno. Right on. Yeah, that's a normal look voice. for him, Sydney. Uh, <laughs> no, I was uh, I was intrigued by the notion of us going. Right. Well, the fact that me and Crystal said that at the same time just verifies that that's a normal look. Tim I don't look really confused. Look. Yeah, I have I have the dumb look. So that's me. I'm so I am going to set some stuff up here in this room, and I'm also going to try to set some stuff up in the cemetery it's a small cemetery so i'm thinking about taking my um trail cameras and setting them in the corners yeah that'd be awesome um, dude hopefully nobody takes them. yeah it would be awesome but i'm really hoping at the same time that nobody takes them either well that's um, just put them discreetly you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. i mean i don't i don't know how wide it wide open it is but Jeremy, if you do a live DVR in your room my while you're walking around no, and you're I'm writing not, titles, I'm not, I'm not reviewing it. <laughs> no, I, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Um, oh, Sydney, the, the, the little girl, she, she went back into the office. I'm, I'm going to meet up with her. Here in a little bit, I'm going to give her a things bracelet for helping me out. So does for being four does, years old, she was very intelligent. Does and her she parents was a own natural. that place? Do her parents own that place? Her her her, her daddy does. Um, I am very guessing awesome. is that her dad and uncle probably own this place. Oh. That is awesome. And Find out if sure my dad was even asking me. Sure. Say what? Oh. We lost your audio, could always, Jeremy. Could always bring it back. Could always bring it back next year. Because I'll be bowling in Vegas again next year. And most likely making my way up north just like I had the last few years. Right on. <clears throat> now yeah. is but is no, each, tonight, I am going to set some the trail cameras 
here in this room. I'm going to set some, try to set some tarot cameras out there in the cemetery and pray like hell that nobody takes them. And I don't think there would really be anything discreet about put, placing them. It is, it's a wide open cemetery. It's fenced in, but there's no gate. Not nothing to keep anybody out. Anybody can go in and out. Mm. Yeah. Sit out there all night, Jeremy. Yep. So, um, but does each, after this does show, room? <laughs> go ahead, Scotty. Does each room have a different theme? I know you. I can't remember if you said that earlier. I know there's certain yeah, they do, do have it. In fact, I'm, I'm, look, I'm looking at it right now. Um, one is called the Clownvis Suite. It's some some superstar called Clownvis. Um, it's got a YouTube <laughs> check, YouTube page. All right. Clown, uh, oh, Clownvis Presley, so he's an Elvis act. Ah, uh -huh. that's what it is. He, yeah, he's an Elvis. Okay, yeah, uh -huh. I'm, I'm looking at, looking at videos. He is a clown dressed as Elvis. That close to Vegas. Uh, I mean, so, yeah. is there any doubt? Yeah, it makes sense. Um, okay, there's another well. room. So, so the themes of a lot of these rooms is it. The Exorcist, Halloween, which is the one I'm staying in now, Friday the 13th. Um, no, that, that's it. That's and then, it. Then they got. Some um, of those have nothing to do with yeah, clowns. They got, they got clown suites and then just standard rooms. Tom, they need a Emmett Kelly room. And a killer clown from outer space room. Now that's being what so they need. To have. Yeah, that's being what they so need to have. Vegas. I would love to stay in a room where all those clowns from that movie is just pasted all over this wall. You, you would hopefully think with it no, being so close to Vegas, uh, so maybe have room. a small chapel to where people could get married. That would be pretty cool. They had like a chapel. <laughs> Get married by Ronald McDonald. The sad, thing is, like, the sad thing is, is I see, and you may kiss the bride, yeah. and then they squirt him with a flower. Or honk each other's nose. Uh -uh. You may honk your nose. Sydney, uh -uh. no, they don't. In fact, they don't have anything uh -uh. John Wayne Gacy. No, John Wayne Gacy is not yeah. liked by the clown community. Yeah. What do you mean? Ooh. Did you say you uh, Nicole? I wish I could, but unfortunately, when I when I go into the cemetery, I lose the I lose the Wi-Fi signal, so there's no way I can be able to do it. I am yeah, going to be well, doing that's an investigation. What this was supposed to be. Yeah, so I am going to be doing an investigation, and right now I am charging up my phone and all the batteries. And I need to charge this. I need to charge this little light so that when it gets dark and I go out there, I can have this little light on me. Yeah, we don't need you to kill yourself, Jeremy. Oh, by the way, what's uh, up? So yeah. Tim and Chris, Tim and Crystal found me a, a Raggedy Ann doll. No. Yeah. No. Yep. No. And I'm actually going to go home. No. Go over there and bring it home tomorrow. No. Yeah. No, I'm. I'll be but you can keep it in your room. Okay. Is that April or Jenna? That's Jenna. She's she like Raggedy and Andy. Oh, I <laughs> You'll be all right. She is very adamant about no Raggedy Ann or Andy dolls. 
So I know most of the people, you guys don't know, I, I, I'm a city worker and I used to do trash all the time. Well, you find interesting stuff in the trash. You really do. Well, one time they decided to watch, we all sat down and watched uh, The Conjuring, right? There's a documentary on, on The Conjuring. And uh, yeah, so I happened to find a, yeah, see that? A Raggedy Ann doll in the trash. And I, I brought it home one time and I hid it in the bedroom. So that way when they went to bed, they put the covers back. They found the Raggedy Ann doll. Yeah, I'm not that. Why did it shit up? Look, they didn't scream that one down until then, right? Hopefully, I'll be able to get rid of this headache so I can actually do some investigating. Well, I think you need to worry about getting some sleep and food. Yeah. <clears throat> you know. And Excedrin migraine. Yes. Are you there only one night tonight, Jeremy? Yeah, I'm only here for one night. Now, now, and I met actually. If you actually tell me a price, but is it pretty decently priced to stay there? Suspensive. Is it? It's it's expensive. Well, for being a Friday night, it is. $175 expensive. Ooh. Dear Jesus, Dude. you could be up in the hill and yeah. getting pampered. Dude, they're better, better, better be an espresso machine and everything else up in there. Let me tell you what. You better get a, a good massage uh, well, later. I do have a mini refrigerator, a coffee machine, a coffee maker, and, and a microwave. So I've got something. Uh, I, yeah, not for $175, bro. Sorry. $175? Somebody better be giving you a happy massage. Well, that's, that's what I'm saying. Whoa. I'm just <laughs> saying. <laughs> you're in Vegas. Oh, oh, Vegas. Happy, you should be getting that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Crystal, that's a good idea. Jeremy, what happens in Vegas, Crystal doesn't need to know. No, what, what, what I need is a massage on my head. <laughs> then we're all that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Jeremy, that sounded even worse. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> that sounded even worse. Yeah, I suppose it did. <laughs> uh, Look, even Willie was shocked by that. <laughs> there were no happy Anita. endings all in school. <laughs> I like that, Anita. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I agree with her. There are no so happy when, endings. When, when we're done, um, I'm going to. But there are I've got, itchy I've got endings. Right now. I'll go ahead and set up some cameras in this room at least. And then later on, I'll set some cameras up out there in the cemetery, and then I am going to head out and grab me some food and fill up on gas. Because yeah, since I'm stopping it on, I might as well fill up on gas. Yes, this is true, Teresa. Hopefully the prices are good. Yeah, Teresa, unfortunately, that's normally how it goes with this group. Yeah, I, I just yeah. I just happened to... Yep. I, yeah. I agreed with Anita, and I said there are no happy endings, only itchy ones. Itchy Bernie endings. Okay, and on that note, we're going to let Jeremy go eat. I'm going to eat my dinner. I am going to go and watch a movie because I have been go, 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 go for three weeks. I'm ready for some downtime. And I'm going to bed because I have to be up at 3 a.m. to go fishing. Yeah, I'm kind of jealous of that. Oh, Not me because it's going to be 32 degrees in the morning and it's an hour and a half trip. We're at Lake James tomorrow, but up by Angola. So, yep. Hour yeah, I house. hope you get something. Me, <laughs> me too. I hope I get Do something. Do you get too. to keep your fish? Yes. Uh, cool. Fish fry at Scott's. Got it. 
Hey, Scotty, uh, are week, you allowed Sean to Gilmore? live streams while you're doing fishing? Say what? Are you allowed you to go live while you're fishing? Yeah, I can go live. Why? Why don't you? Oh, on Facebook? No, I'm still banned. <laughs> I wouldn't know why. Bad boy. Uh, Sean Gilmore next week. Is that correct? Yes. Sean Gilmore Sean. is our guest next week. Um, some of you may recognize him as the guy who showed that I was on about three weeks ago, four weeks yep. ago. Uh, an and awesome that, that was an awesome interview. Yeah, that was an awesome interview. So, okay. Oh. Yes. Stephen wants us to announce too. The Paranormal United Network presents the Fear Fest Paracon at the Temple in Salina, Kansas, September 24th and 25th. Vendor space is available. Guest speaker space is available. So far, two confirmed special guests will be announced soon. So if you guys want to get in on that, um, contact some contact the Paranormal United Network page. Yep, please do. One yeah. of us. And, and I, 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 you tell you this, I personally have been at the temple. I've investigated it over two nights. There is something going on with that building. I didn't even get a chance to investigate the entire building, but there is def definitely something going on there, and that's rare for me to say. Right on. Because I had some crazy experiences both nights. All right, guys. Well, so, I guess there's nothing left to say, but until next week. Yeah. Same bat time, same bat channel. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Pretty much. Scott, until I'm considering week. what we do. Should it be same ghost channel, same ghost time? I think so, yeah. 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 Although, Waverly, you encountered plenty of bats. Yeah, true. True that. Yeah, that is true. All right, so. Remember well, until time. next time, Jeremy. Okay. If it's paranormal or beyond. Somebody's got it covered. <laughs> Somebody's got it covered somewhere. We got it covered. That's right. <laughs> Have a yeah. good night, everybody. Bye, okay, guys. so for all of you that are tuned in tonight, thank you so much for watching. Have a good night. And happy Mother's Day.